to my channel my name is Stella if you're just coming across my video I would like you to subscribe to my channel and like the video okay stick around because I post doing tutorials on this channel and to my returning subscribers you guys are the real MVPs thank you thank you thank you all right so enough of that now let's jump right into what we have today so today we're going to be making a boo-boo okay a boo boo kaftan all right now here are the fabrics that we're working with this is the this is a doll face bridal satin all right so this is a doll face bridal satin and here is my ankara fabric so this is six years of ankara fabric all right now let's jump right into the tutorial so we're going to keep the black aside for now and we'll focus on this one okay so the first thing i'm going to do is to go ahead and fold the fabric into two now i'll be folding it with the full length of the gown and the length of the gown is 58 inches all right then we'll add two inches sewing allowance to this okay so we'll add two inches hemming allowance into a total of 60 inches so i will be folding this i'll go ahead and fold this into two and we'll continue so here it is i have folded it into two okay so i have it folded into two now this is the wrong side so we'll go ahead and fold it further into four okay so this is first into two we'll fold it into four all right this way and we'll, we'll continue all right so i have the fabric folded into four now okay so first folded into two and i folded again so this is a completely folded sign all right now let's start our marking so i'm going to be making use of the entire um length here okay as my shoulder all right but um just in case if you're confused and you don't know the length what you're going to do is to simply um from here you will mark your actual shoulder okay and the shoulder measurement i'm working with is eight inches all right because this is a cut together so after your shoulder go ahead and mark so after your shoulder go ahead and measure your desired length so the desired length that we're working with is to the elbow okay and that is um so that is 13 inches all right so here we have 13 inches so if you measure everything in total that should give us um so this is 21 inches all right so everything down to the shoulder down to the elbow is 21 inches so i'll just round that up to 22 inches okay so i'll round it up to 22 inches all right here and i'll make a mark all right so this is the length of the shoulder remember so for clarity's sake i first measured her shoulder okay which is 16 inches divided by two give me eight and from the shoulder i measured down to the desired sleeve length okay and that is 13 inches so 13 inches plus eight is so that is 21 inches all right then i added just extra one inch okay to that and that gave me 22 inches okay now let's move over to the vertical length all right so from here i will go ahead and measure her bust point line all right and her bust point is 11 inches so i'll make a mark on 11 inches okay and her waist length is 16.5 inches okay i'll make a mark here all right and her hip length is 26 okay so i'll make a mark at 26 all right then um then we have the full length of the gown all right which is 58 inches and i'm adding two inches hemming allowance to that so that makes it a total of 60 inches okay so i'll go ahead and move to this point okay all right okay now i'll go ahead and repeat the same markings here okay so that we can get a straight line so i have my tape place from the starting point and i'll mark her bust point of 11 her waist length of 16.5 Keep length of 26, okay, and the dress length, the full length is 58 inches, okay, full length is 58 plus 2 inches allowance, so that will give me 60, all right, so I have it marked here. Now, I'll go ahead and connect these lines. Yeah. All right, and here we have it. We have all our vertical measurements okay this is the bust point line the waist length and the hip length i will proceed to mark the round measurements okay so on the bust point line we'll mark her bust round and her bust round is 
41. Okay, 41 inches divided by 4 will give us 10.25. All right, so I'll have my tape placed here, okay, from the completely folded side. And I'll measure, I'll make a mark at 10.25 here. All right, now we're adding 1.5 inches as our ease, okay, and I will add 1 inch as my sewing allowance. All right, remember, wash one divided by 4 plus 1.5 inches ease plus 1 inch sewing allowance. Now let's move over to the waistline. So we're going to mark our waist round divided by 4. Working with a waist round of 36, 36 inches divided by 4 will give us 9. All right, and we're adding 1.5 inches um, ease to this. Okay, and one inch sewing allowance. All right, so this is what we have. Now, to the hip length, all right? So, working with a hip round of 40, 40 inches divided by four will give us 10. All right, I'll make a mark at 10. All right, and we're adding 1.5 inches ease to this. Okay, and we're adding one inch sewing allowance. So in total, what we have on the hip length is 12.5 inches all right all right now i'll go ahead and collect this first all right so i have it connected here now whatever i have here okay i'll go ahead and mark it exactly on the full length okay and remember i told us that um what we have here is 12 Point five, okay all the measurements that we have on the hip length because we are making this as a straight booboo -boo, okay so whenever you're making a straight booboo -boo, whatever you have on your hip length go ahead and mark it on your full length now this includes the allowance okay so everything here including the ease and the and the sewing allowance is 12.5 so, so i'll come to the full length and i'll mark 12.5 inches all right so this is it now let me give you a hack if you don't have a long ruler okay and you're making outfits like this simply remark what you have okay at intervals like this okay just remark them at intervals so that it will be easier for you to connect using your short ruler okay so i'll go ahead and connect this yeah okay so this is what we have i have connected it down all right now let's come to this point okay now i told us that um the width of the shoulder is 22 okay so so i'll go ahead and just remark um the 22 inches here all right okay and i'll proceed to connect it all right so here we have it okay so we have all our markings out. Now let's move over to the neckline. All right, so let's move over to the neckline. Now we're working with a neck width of four inches, okay? So I'll go ahead and make a mark at four inches, okay, here. All right, so remember that we have both the front and the back, everything folded, okay? So we will mark the neck depth for the back is 1.5 inches, okay? So I have it marked here by 1.5 inches and the neck depth for the front is 8 inches. Okay, so I'll go ahead and make a mark here at 8 inches. Alright, now we'll go, to, we'll go ahead and connect it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and connect this. Now I'll go ahead and connect the back first. Okay. Alright, so here's the back. Now the front is a V neckline. So I'll use a straight line to connect the front, okay, this way. Okay, so here we have it. This is the back and here is the front, okay? Now, we'll go ahead and cut, but we are cutting only the back neckline, okay? Don't make mistake of cutting the front and the back together like this. You will mess up your, your outfit, especially if that is not the style that you want. So we'll first cut the back neckline out. All right, so for the sleeve, all right, at this opening, we will slant it inwards here just a bit, okay? So from here, we'll slant it inwards by one inch, okay? So I'm coming inwards by one inch from the open side of the sleeve, okay? And I will just slant it this way. All right, so this is what I have at the sleeve. Now, at this point also, you can't leave it this sharp, okay? We'll need to just blend it a little bit here. 
all right just a little here okay okay so this is what i have at this point all right and this is it now we'll proceed to cut out remember we're cutting only the back all right so i'll proceed to cut the back neckline okay we have only the back neckline cut out i know why i'm emphasizing it all right now i'll go ahead and cut out this side yeah okay so here we have it now so we need to notch for our pockets all right i want the outfit the booboo to have um pocket okay so for my waistline i'll simply come down here by one inch all right and i will notch for my pockets okay all right and here we have it i have my notch for the pocket all right now that we have this cut out i'll go ahead and take off my pins all right okay so i have taken off the pins now the next thing we need to do is to go ahead and notch this mid part all right this point that is indicating the joining line all right so i'm i'm, I'm notching the the um the neck width okay so i have it notched now all right let me also notch this part as well now i'll go ahead and separate these two fabric all right so i want to separate i want to pull out the back okay so that we can um alter the front for that all right all right so i'll go ahead and separate this okay so i have my back that way and here is the front okay now the notches will guide you at this point so that you can fold it back okay all right so here we have it i have um arranged it properly so i went ahead to pin the front down okay now let's go ahead and alter the front okay so from the center front we need to mark two inches here all right so i will start marking my two inches all the way down all right afterwards we will connect it using a straight line all right so i have it marked now i'll proceed to connect it no. okay so here we have it i have connected the two inches now we need to blend it to the neckline okay so we need to blend it to the neckline width all right so i'll come in with my curve so i'll come in with my ruler let's make it straight okay and i'll try and just blend it now pay attention the two inches i stopped it at that our eight inches neck depth okay here's the eight inches neck depth and that's where i stopped marking the two inches okay so i'll use my ruler to all right so i'll use my ruler to connect it okay from the neck width of four inches to that two inches okay that we have now you will need to blend this properly okay you don't want this point looking too sharp all right so this is what we have now okay and it's time for us to cut out so i come with my scissors and we'll cut this out yeah okay here we have it we have the two inches cut out and you see the neckline okay this way now we'll proceed to all right so this our our neckline okay all we just cut out we don't need it anymore so i go ahead and keep it one side now we need to measure okay so to that our eight inches mark we will need to notch it um i'll go ahead okay and measure down all right to the eight inches which is here okay and notch it which i have already done okay so i have a notch here indicating the eight inches neck depth for the front now we will need to go ahead and measure the entire um neckline okay so i'm starting from the back the center back line to so measure okay so i'll measure it now you need to measure this carefully all right you need to measure this carefully okay so to our eight inches mark what i have there is 13.25 okay now we need to note this figure down all right and i'll place my tape from there at the 13.25 and i'll continue measuring measuring all the way to the hem so i have my 16 inches and 
my tape is exhausted, I'll make a mark there, alright, and I'll continue measuring from there. So to the hem, I have 66 inches, alright, so I have 66 inches as my length. Okay, now we're going to keep this aside. I'll go ahead to cut out my bridal satin, okay? Now, you remember that we cut out two inches from our center front. So, to replace it, you will need 2.5 inches so that by the time you're um, so that by the time you're done joining the sides, you will arrive at that two inches back, all right? So, if you open it up, it's five inches and unfold, it will give you 2.5 inches, all right? So, I have two of these. Now, if I join these two, it will not give me um, 66 inches, all right? So I went ahead to cut out an extra one. So I'll go ahead and join all this, okay, so that I can get a very long length, all right? And I will iron down my interfacing on it, all right? So I'll join it, iron down my interfacing, okay? And I'll show us how to join it, all right? So for the sleeve here, I went ahead to cut out this satin, all right? So I want the width of the facing to be 2.5 inches, okay? So I have 3.5 inches here, all right? So by the time I will use half inch here to turn the fabric and half inch for um, for hemming. So we'll be left with 2.5 inches, okay? So I'll go ahead and use this to turn the sleeve, all right? And to do it, we're going to stitch from the wrong side into the right side, okay? So we're going to stitch it this way, all right? The right side of the satin will face the wrong side of the sleeve. So I'll use half inch to stitch it here. Now, when I'm done, I will simply flip it to the right side this way, okay? And I will top stitch on it, all right? So I'll go ahead and join the satin first, all right? And I'll iron down my interfacing. Then we will continue. All right, so now um, I've gone ahead to, to fix the sleeve, okay? So I've done the facing for the sleeve. So from the wrong side to the right side, okay? I did the same on the other sleeve as well, all right? So here we have it. Now I used hemming gum to hold it down. And you see, it's still inside. So I'll go ahead and just top stitch right here, okay? All right, now um, here's the satin. So I'm gonna have to iron down my interfacing on it, okay? Now, after that, we'll go ahead and fold it into two. So the right sides will be inside, all right? Now, I also went ahead to mark the midpoint. Remember that the width of this is 5 inches, okay? So the width of this is 5 inches. So I marked the midpoint, which is 2.5, all right? So this is what we have. Now, I'll come in with, I'll come in with the booboo, okay? So that we will finish up, all right? So um, we need to make a few notches here, okay? Now, you will need to indicate the middle of this fabric, okay, of the satin. So I'll go ahead and use my pencil to mark the midpoint, okay? So I'll mark the midpoint of it, all right? I also um, indicated it using my pressing irons. I have a crease line here, all right? Now we will go ahead and, and measure, okay? So I'll come in with my pin, all right? So I'll come in with my pin and I'll go ahead and pin down the middle of this satin, okay, to the center back neckline, all right? So I'll pin it down, okay? And we will need to trace to our neckline. You remember our notch, okay? Our our eight inches um, neck depth for the front, all right? And we went ahead to notch it. Now I'll go ahead and trace this neckline, okay? The satin to that eight inches mark, all right? So I'll trace it this way till I get to the notch, all right? Okay, so I've seen the notch. Can you see the tiny notch? Okay, I've seen the notch. Now I'll go ahead and pin down this. Okay, so I'll go ahead and, and make a mark with my pencil at that point. Okay, now here I have it. Can you see my notch here? Okay, the pencil mark here. Now I'll repeat the same thing on this other side as well. So I'm simply using the satin to trace the neckline. All right. So this is the most accurate way because a lot of times, by the time you measure it, okay, and you start sewing, it's either the neckline is um, longer or shorter, okay? But I like to work with exact method, all right? So I'll keep tracing it till I get to the 8 inches notch, okay? This is it here. So now this is it. So I'll come in with my pencil also, and I'll make a mark at that 8 inches notch that we had earlier done, okay? 
this is it okay so the next thing we're going to do is to go ahead and and use the remaining okay to trace all the way down to the full length all right now i'll go ahead and pin so i'll pin this down here first so we have gotten the neckline now we have the the length okay so i'll use the satin to trace the length all right this way yeah okay so this is what we have i'll repeat the same thing on the other side all right now we'll be having a slit in the center front and the sides okay and i want the length of my slit to be 17 inches all right so i will proceed to come in with my tape and we're going to measure 17 inches on the center front and on the side and i will notch it so here we have it now this is the center front okay this is the center front line and here's the side front i'm sure you can still remember our marking okay so from the hem i will go ahead and mark and measure um 17 inches all right so i'll come up here by 17 inches okay and i'll make a mark all right so i'll also come up by the sides okay by 17 inches also and i'll make a mark there now i'll proceed to notch them no. all right so here we have it now the next thing we're going to do all right is okay so i'll go ahead and continue tracing our cape till the notch that we just made okay all right so here's the notch okay now so we'll go ahead now and continue to trace down okay to align the um this we should call it a cape okay to um to this notch all right so that we can know the exact point where the notch is so this is the notch all right i'll go ahead and make i'll make my pencil mark here all right so this is it now i'll repeat the same thing on the other side which automatically is the same okay so i'll go ahead now and keep this aside all right and we will proceed to sew okay so we have our notches here all right so from the neckline you remember we traced it down to this point okay so i'll go ahead now and i'll stitch on this middle line all right so i'll simply extend this this our marking all the way here okay so i'll go ahead and stitch from this middle line okay i'll stitch it all the way till we get to this place which is where our slit will start you remember our marking here okay so i'll go ahead and stitch on this middle line i use my ruler to draw this middle line okay because you need this line at the midpoint all right so i'll stitch from here okay which is where our neckline dead starts i'll stitch from here all the way to where the slit will start all right so i'll go ahead and stitch this and i'll show us how to turn it all right so here we have it i have stitched it in the middle can you see i've stitched it all the way down okay and i stopped where our slit is going to start all right i stopped where our slit is going to start so the next thing we're going to do is to go ahead and turn okay so this is the way it is we're simply going to raise the two that is up okay this way all right and this other one this other way okay so this is the way it is all right so what we're going to do is to go ahead and hold this two that is up okay like this and the other one will automatically um fall in line okay then you go ahead and fold here all right so this is what we have now i gave it a good press so i had earlier turned this and pressed it okay that's why you're seeing it well laid all right here is also the the back okay so now i've gone ahead to notch the midpoint all right so i'll come in with the boo boo and we will join this so we're going to be joining from the right side to the wrong side okay so i'm trying to locate the middle of the neckline all right so here we have it this is the here's the middle of the neckline all right so i'll go ahead and place it this way okay so i'll align my notches all right this way and we're going to proceed to sew okay so you hold it this way and i'll go ahead and stitch this okay on one side all the way to the hem and i'll repeat the same thing on this other side all the way to the hem 
all right so here we have it i have attached the center piece you can see how flat is laying okay so this is the neckline all right i have also gone ahead to press it so this is it now you can see it all the way to the hem all right so this is how flat is laying i'm going i'll go ahead and overlock all the rough edges okay now the final thing for us to do now is to go ahead and join the sides so i'll flip it to the wrong side okay this way all right, so I'll flip it to the wrong side, okay, this way, and I'll proceed to stitch on my one inch sewing allowance that we added, all right? So I'll join the size using one inch sewing allowance, okay? So I'll join the size using one inch. Now, when I'm done, at this angle, okay, I will um, give it a tiny notch, all right, so that here can relax well. Remember that this place is a bit curvy. So I'll give it a little notch here, okay, so that it can relax well, and I'll hem the lower part. All right, you remember our slit on the side, the slit length of 17 inches, I will also um, observe it. So I'll hem the lower part, join the size, and I'll show us the finished look. Yeah. All right, and here we have it. We are finally done. I love this caftan. All right, the color combination is it for me. Now I went ahead to attach um, buttons, okay, at the midpoint. So, and the buttons stepped it up real good. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Kindly subscribe to my channel, like the video because it helps other people to see it. Okay, so drop your comments in the comment section and you're sure I'll definitely attend to all of them. Alright, so till we meet again in my next video. Bye.